Adi here and in this demo video we're going to talk about uh, AverZP. So uh, we'll, we'll see how AverZP works and what are the features. All right. First of all we are on the dashboard of AverZP and uh, on this dashboard page you can see you can create a new webinar from here and this is the list of your existing webinars. So as you can see this uh, label so it's this this webinar is a recurring webinar this is live like webinar this is on demand webinar right and if you wanna you know like uh, filter the webinars like you wanna see all the live like webinars so you can choose from here you can you know like filter your webinars from this menu so you can click on all webinars okay here we go so this is the grid layout as you can see the action buttons here like you can edit or view your webinar details you can join the room from here you can send an invite to anyone you can delete this webinar from here and if you want to copy the registration link of this webinar you can you can just you know like uh, copy the link from here okay and uh, here you can see like they like uh, in this webinar we have 86 registrants and 30 people actually just joined the webinar and in this webinar as you can see we have 138 registrants and 48 people joined the webinar so you can see the number of people who registered who registered for the webinar and number of people who joined actually the webinar here so this is the grid layout and if you don't like the grid layout you can we have this option to 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 change the layout which which we call it like list uh, view so you can convert you know like you can change the layout of this uh, page uh, of the dashboard and you can you can copy the link from here right or you can uh, you know like uh, access your webinar from here and you can delete it from here All right so now i'll show you how you can actually create a webinar so click on this button create new webinar and you'll come on this page and from here you can choose the name of your webinar so let's say demo webinar or something like that so this is a webinar description you can choose your time from here it actually you know like uh, gives you the default time of your browser so you can change it if you want to change you can upload your webinar picture and now from here you can enter webinar tags so let's say it's a demo webinar okay and from here you can upload a video file mp4 file okay if you have recorded mp4 file using Camtasia or some other uh, tools you can upload it from here or if you have used our product our existing product meet zippy so meet zip is a product for creating uh, you know like uh, online courses video courses and uh, having a recording mastermind session so uh, if you have recorded some videos in your meet zip account as you know like uh, in mintware we have common single sign-in account for all the uh, all the products and every product is connected with each other so you can actually access you know like uh, your videos from from Meet Zippy, and you can you can use it, uh, and you can convert it into a webinar from here, or you can upload it upload a video, uh, kind of a MP4 file from here. So let's click on this. Let me search an MP4 file. Mm, I think we can go with this. Okay, let's go with this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to upload it. It will take a couple of seconds to upload this file, and after that, and after this, uh, we will click on the next button. And once uh, the file is uploaded and we save it, then it will be, uh, you know, like, yeah, here we go. 
so file has been saved successfully and now you have uh, the video here you want to replace it you can replace or you can delete it you can see the preview of your video here and now you can click on the next step so what is the next step next step is like choosing you what kind of webinar you want to create so let's say if you want to create a recurring webinar so recurring means like uh, you can choose how often you want to have this webinar you want to have this webinar every day every week every month so let's say every day you can choose time from here at what time you want to have it every day or every week then you can choose uh, you know like a day like every sunday at 5 20 pm then every monday at 8 pm then every tuesday or wednesday at 8 pm if you want to change the time you can change it 9 pm let's say so then you can choose select start date so every week so this week will be started from this particular date so let's say it will be started from 28th and then you can choose what is the maximum number of upcoming sessions that should be shown so you can choose like five sessions should be displayed on the registration page so user would be able to choose uh, the date you know like he is comfortable with to register for the for the webinar okay and the next step you know like webinar is multiple times webinar from here you can choose your date and time and you can have multiple webinars like uh, you want to have uh, one webinar on 25th 26th and 27th so it's kind of a uh, you know like a series of webinars you want to have like every week or you want i mean you want to have a fix on fixed dates so you can choose as a multiple times and live like is you know the, you know this is the best uh, you know kind of webinar which we use for our own uh, you know like list and uh, uh, we promote our own products you know like uh, using live like so live like works like a real time real uh, you know like a real time webinar like live webinar you manage all the chat you know like uh, in the in the in the room real or like on real time live and the video you know like it's just uh, pre-recorded that's it. it works pretty good you can select a date let's say right now it's like uh, 25th august today and you can choose it for five or you can choose it for seven 7 45 pm and you can click on save but before that i'll show you on demand on demand webinars as well so on demand webinars like instant webinars or you can choose what kind, like timer the time of your countdown timer so let's say if somebody comes on the page it will just uh, show five minutes time or or instant right it's kind of on demand only so you can choose it and then click on the save now button event has been created now once it is done we'll land on this page where you can see we have webinar detail so this is the name of a webinar this is the registration link so you can click on the registration link and you can see this is the, this is the registration page okay but uh, this is not good enough so you can actually customize it you can enter your description from here you can see the video preview which is being played here you can pause it if you want or you can replace the video from here do you want to switch off the chat or you want to have uh, you know like put it on so right now it's on you want to redirect attendees after the webinar to some other url so you can do that is your webinar paid or paid for your attendees so this is an amazing feature you can connect your uh, paypal account and uh, or stripe account and then you can actually have paid webinars so user you know like after registration user will be landed on a paypal you know like on a checkout page and from there you know like uh, he has to uh, you know like uh, uh, pay the uh, amount then it will be you know like he'll be registered on the on the uh, you know like uh, webinar link page so to join so this is a very powerful feature of uh, EverZP, right so the next uh, tab is webinar you know like type so as we have already discussed and uh, now the third option is email funnel so we have five kind of funnels here 
one is like instant confirmation or for registration 24 hours before the webinar 12 hours before the webinar one hour before the webinar and 15 minutes before the webinar so let's say you click on this if you just put it on from here so all you know like uh, the whole uh, email funnel will be activated and it will be you know like it will be uh, uh, you know like uh, this cron job will be set for sending this confirmation or you know notification to users by email or you can just put this whole funnel off from here and if you want to write your own custom email you don't want to use uh, this uh, existing email format you can have this option you can you can choose this op option and you can write your own email in your own language all right and from here you can change anything you can use placeholders and you can change any content you can write it in your own language all right or you can just you know like keep it default from here okay the next option is webinar registration Regi uh, sorry webinar registrant so uh, webinar registration is a is a you know like a, uh, is a place where you can customize your registration page so let's say right now you have these two options on the registration page you want to add one more field from here like a mobile number it can be optional or required you can click on add fields and you come here and refresh the page and you see uh, the fields will be increased like this so you can actually have like one email name and now mobile or if you just you know like remove it from here yes it will be removed so it works on the real time it works pretty good and you can have app integrations I will show you so uh, you click on this so we have this centralized system actually uh, one one when actually you know like uh, somebody logs in from here uh, from uh, the whole suite of mintware dashboard if you are user of all the products you can you can access all the products at you know like from here itself so this is the ever zp which you can access from here okay and uh, just a moment you can access from here or if you wanna you know like uh, use some kind of uh, app integrations or some kind of domain integrations let's say you we have centralized app integration we have centralized domain integration we have centralized lead options okay and you can see the integrations of integration options are available here you can connect your stripe paypal all these payment gateways you can you can connect your all autoresponders mailchimp get response active campaign eye contact benchmark constant contact however in fusion soft sandlane and you can connect your uh, you know like zapier as well so we have the centralized domain uh, custom domain integration option and we have this uh, centralized leads uh, you know like uh, a capturing uh, system inside the uh, ever zp so let's uh, you know like go to the ever zp from here and we have this uh, centralized uh, you know like uh, tutorials so you can you can access the all the tutorials of all the products from here so let's click on the uh, ever zp product and you will be you will come here here we go so now we are going to edit uh, the webinar which we created so it was demo webinar final we can click on the edit view here we go so now as as we have discussed you can actually you know, like uh, uh, integrate get response or a webber right now i have connected my available account already you can click on this integrate now option and you can see how you can you can connect a webber account and you can just watch the whole video and you can see we i have created i have connected my account here and i have eight lists in this account so i'm going to use this account while i'm going to sorry here i'm going to whenever somebody gets registered 
this person will be I can choose my let's say I don't like this list and this user will be uh, added to this list automatically I click on the connect and here we go so that's how you can connect uh, connect an app and this is the thank you page this is an optional op uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, thing so you can actually uh, choose a thank you page URL from here if you wanna redirect your, redirect your attendees after the webinar to some other other link or I think oh sorry this is for uh, you know like registry after the registration you want to re redirect attendees on some other link so you can you can change your URL from here here we go so this is the embed code so you let's say if you want to have uh, you want to create a registration page on your WordPress website or, or some other you know like click funnels or X funnels uh, page or some other you know like uh, page builder you can copy this embed code from here and you can copy it and you can paste it on that page in the custom HTML section and you see uh, I mean you will get the whole registration in like a, a form uh, on that page so you can embed your registration form on, on any website from here this is the URL for the YouTube uh, or, or or you know like uh, your, your Vimeo video so you can you can actually use a use a video from here you can you can search let's say this and and you can click on this you can copy the URL from here close it you come here with the size of 640 and 480 you can add this so this whole video will be um, added on the registration page of the webinar so let's say if you have recorded a video which you want to use on your registration page so you can actually add a registration I mean a video on your registration page it can be it can be added by uh, Vimeo or YouTube okay and you can enter your social media links from here so it will be connected to you added to your webinar registration page and from here you can actually add your webinar tracking uh, you know like code it can be I mean, you can use your Facebook tracking code or uh, kind of uh, Google tracking code and this option is for webinar registrants so let's say if you want to bulk upload your some of your people you know like and you want you want to uh, you know, like register them I mean get them registered automatically so you can upload them from here or you can add a manual you know like uh, user from here so in name and email ID and he will be notified that he has been registered and from here you can upload a CSV file of your registrants and from here you can download a sample CSV file which you are going to use okay so now next option is simulated CTA simulated CTA is a kind of a feature which is which works like uh, pretty good in uh, live like webinars or evergreen webinars so you can have a CTA let's say if you are uh, you know like you have created a dem on demand webinar and you want to display a simulated, simulated CT after 15th minute or after 30th minute you can you can set a time you can set a message CTA link CTA button CTA timeout timeout would be the CTA will be displayed for 5 minutes or 10 minutes to all the users you can upload a preview image of the CTA and you can trigger your CTA let's say 30th minute and uh, 30th seconds so this you know like after 30th minute and 30th uh, 30 seconds it this CTA will be displayed all right so let's say let's let's use it like 0 or let's use uh, 20 or 5 seconds okay and message would be this is a CTA message this is a this is a CTA link this it can be buy now or it can be get instant access it will be visible for 
one minute I can choose a preview image or I can save it all right so now it has been it has been saved this is a CTA message CTA index CTA link you know like it has been saved now the next option is simulated chat so let's say if you wanna you know like uh, to give it a very live like feel you can choose a name let's say uh, John John Doe or John at doe.com message would be how are you doing and this message will be triggered at you know like a second second so click on save so it has been saved now we'll go to the room let's see the room how it looks and uh, it's a presenter view so you can actually cho click here to join the webinar it's a kind of a presenter uh, you know like area so you have all these options in the presenter room uh, this is the live uh, you know like video you see how you're doing the message has been displayed and now CTA is CTA also like uh, you know like here so we can you know like this is a CTA message you click on this so it will go to the google.com you can hide it or you can delete it hide it from here you can see all these options John how are you doing so this is how it works and uh, you have this option like uh, right now there is no attendee or if there are a couple of attendees uh, you know like uh, you will be able to see the list of attendees here and uh, you will be able to manage all the settings like you want to mute or un unmute all the attendees you want to change the type of uh, chat during the webinar or you want to see the list of attendees like you want to show the list of at all attendees to other people so you can do all those things and you can you know, like send an invitation uh, link during the webinar from here okay so that's all what you can do from here and you can create a live like feel like uh, you know like it, it's, uh, it's responsive it works on all devices you can make it full screen and uh, you can you know like uh, customize it you can rebrand it you can change all the branding as per your as per your requirement if you want to have a you know like a, if you if you want to just display your own uh, logo so you can do that and you see it works pretty good right it works pretty good and now you can actually you know, like uh, uh, manage all the users and everything from from the back end and the next thing is replace and for the replays you see all the videos are available here if you want to get the replay page you can click on the replay page from here and from here you have to just make one make make this setting first time so we have two kind of uh, uh, replay modes so one is public or the one is protected so if you want to share protected replays to with someone so with the you can set the password here and uh, you can set the you know like uh, uh, you know like password and you can share it like in in by, by email one-on-one -on -one, or you can you can have replay type paid or or, or uh, free so you can monetize uh, you know like money on replay pages as well all right so you can choose paid you can you can choose your PayPal account and you can set up your you know like uh, the price and it would be good to go so this is how it works uh, with the uh, you know like uh, paid or free kind of free play pages so let's make it public not protected and click on the save now once it is saved you can click on this link and you'll see the replay page and you have you know like uh, number of views you can see here you know like people can add the comment here and uh, if somebody commented on this uh, replay uh, on this replay it should be verified by the uh, administrator I mean by the uh, owner of the webinar so by the host I would say so uh, you know like you can you can manage what uh, you know like what review you wanna uh, post or publish on this page do you understand okay so this is how you can create a webinar webinar replay and this is how you can actually you know like mess manage your reviews and you know like kind of uh, views you, you your user can users can see on this page you can change your own branding and logo and everything so that's how it works